Okay, so our vertex is going to be opposite on the inside, right? So what's it going to be? One, and then the outside. Negative one. Okay, so go plot to one, negative one. Put your vertex. How do we find the second point? Up one over one. Up one over one. Up one over one. What about the next set of points? Two, three, four. Up four over two. One, two, three, four, one, two. You have to go up four over two from the vertex, though. That's the only like trick. Okay, now you got it graphed so you can do everything else. What is the axis of symmetry? axis of symmetry? It's at 1. Okay. Now, you can look at it. It's going to be the same as this part of the vertex. So, right here, this is the same exact axis of symmetry. Okay. So, it's going to be x equals 1. And you can look at it and see, well, where does my graph split in half? It always goes through the vertex. I couldn't see it because it don't show a 1 on the screen. Hmm? On the paper, it don't show a 1. I don't see it. Oh. Okay, where are the x-intercepts? Zero and two. Zero and two. Okay. The y-intercepts? Zero. Zero. Min or a max? Zero. Min. Solutions? Uh, zero and two. Zero and two. And then describe the graph. at it if you put the old vertex on where is the mommy and daddy vertex located look at the very first problem that's your mommy and daddy graph every other graph in the whole entire world is based off that it's kind of like and this is i'm sorry like adam and eve right so all people came from adam and eve right some some way or another if those were the only first two humans on earth then everyone else had to came from adam and eve right so um that means some way or another we will all have to be related to Adam and Eve, okay? That's not really, but, okay. Um, so where is the mommy and daddy graph vertex? Look at it, look at your number one. Where's the vertex on number one? What's the vertex zero? It's at zero, zero. So if you put a point here, how could I get to our new vertex? Go up. Okay, so would I have to go up or down? I'm trying to get down to here. Down one, right one. Down one. Right one. And that puts me here, and then where do I go? Right. Right one. Okay. So we always gotta start at the uh, first point? You always start at zero, zero. And then you've gotta make it to the new vertex. Alright, I gotta put that down. Alright, the vertex is the only thing I understand this so far. So okay, so Sam, look up here this time. Don't write, and I'll write you freebie. Can I scroll, by the way? Okay, so how do we, what's the vertex? Three and so we do the opposite on the inside. Three and two. Okay, so we can graph our vertex at three, two. How do we find the second point? Go up one over one. And the next point? And then go up four over two. From the vertex. And none of you guys answer anymore. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, Sam, our axis of symmetry is always going to be where the graph can split in exactly half. Okay, and it always just so happens to be the vertex also. So what is the vertex? Uh. <clears throat> Look up here. It's not a trick question. Three, two. Three, two, which is right here. Okay, and you could see if I put a line there, does that split this exactly in half? Yeah. Yeah, and so that's why we go up one, up four over two, up one over one, up four over two. It makes that U. You could split it in half. And so our axis of symmetry is going to be the x value. So it's this one, x equals 3. Because these go x comma y. That's how we plot points. Okay, the x-intercepts, where does it cross the x and y? It doesn't. It doesn't. So um, you can put none, okay? There are no x-intercepts, okay? They would have to cross through here at the x line. 
Where are the y-intercepts? There is none. Does it have a min or a max? That's a problem. Okay, so look at, so does it have the really low point or does it have a high point? Oh, a low point. It's got a low point, so it's going to be, it's going to be a minimal. Okay, solutions. Your solutions are the same as your x-intercepts. Okay. There is none. Okay, and then we describe the graph. So you always, to describe the graph, you're going to put a dot at zero, zero, because that's where our mommy and daddy starts. Up to, right there. Up to, and yeah, uh, no. How many? One, two, three. Okay, so, and then we go to the right three. Once you get the hang of it, like they graph really quick, you can write them really quick, they don't take long. Okay, you guys were like, oh my god. Wait, um, yes, sir. So, to describe the graph part, every time you put up and over or whatever it is, it's always going from the origin? Yes. It, okay. So, but it may not go up. It can either go up or down or left or right. Good. And then we'll talk about does it open up or opens down because eventually we're going to get to where the graphs flip and it's a reflection. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, look at five. Negative one, negative one. So what is our vertex? Negative one, negative one. Negative one, negative one. Good, and so we can plot that. Let me give you a piece of advice. If your number that you get is not on the graph, that's because your number is not right. So if you go, if you, maybe your number was negative five, uh, four. Is that an option on here? You can't even go to the negative five, so you need to recheck. Okay, those graphs are fit for whatever picture that you need to draw. Okay, so we're gonna go up one over one, up one over one, up two, no, up four, one, two, three, four, over two. Two, three, four, over two. Okay, what is our axis of symmetry? Negative one. Negative one, x equals negative one. Negative two. X intercepts. Uh, negative, two. Zero. negative two and zero. Y, y intercepts. Zero. 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 Min or max? Min. Min. Solutions. And then describe the graph. Down one left. Okay, put a dot at zero, zero. We're trying to get to the other one. So, down one and what? Left one. Left one. I told you guys, I have a little faith. I got enough. I know, you know what's crazy? So I was trying, normally you would not do all this on the same day. Like this is about half a chapter's worth that I shoved in one day, I'll be honest. Okay, but I'm trying to catch up with the other class and I was like, we're not spread, like that's stupid. So, and so I'm trying to give you extra time at the end of the year to just chill. Right, so I was okay. like, we can do this all in one day. So you guys are making a little nervous when you're like, I don't know. I'm like, you got it. I ain't let you down yet. But the fact of the matter is normally I would not cover all this in one day. It is a lot, but. Okay, vertex. Uh, negative one and three. Negative one and three. Negative one and three. Okay, and so we can graph it. Negative one, three. Up one, over one. Two, three, four, over two. One, two, three, four, over two. Okay, axis of symmetry. X equals negative one. X equals negative one. X intercept. Mm -hmm. Nothing. None. Y intercept. Four. Four. Min or max? Min. Min. <coughs> Solutions? Zero. You can't no, say no, zero. No, 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 no. No. Uh, describe the graph. Up three over Up left. Three. Up three, left one. Yes, sir. How do you get a negative one on the vertex? You 
you gotta so you gotta do the opposite. So if it says plus one, you put minus But then on the outside, you leave it just the way it is. So the reason is, okay, the rest is for you guys. 